the holder of the parable. I am the holder of the parable. I am truly a rarity among holders. I am not some foul creature from another dimension, nor am I some horrendous monster from the deepest reaches of hell out to get your soul. I am a regular guy, just like you. I work a nine-to-five office job and live with my wife and five-year-old son in a suburb in the outskirts of Chicago. Furthermore, unlike the vast majority of the holders you've encountered thus far, who've done everything in their power to prevent you from getting their object, I only want to help you. I don't want to reunite the objects. Thus, I hope that you will do it in my stead. But you may be wondering, if I'm such an ordinary person, how did I become a holder? Well, it's very simple, really. In addition to being a total tech nerd, I am also an avid reader. I thoroughly enjoy anything, from the simplest Stephen King novel to the most complex of Plato's dialogues. One day, while perusing the shelves of a nearby library, I chanced upon a book of fables and parables that piqued my curiosity. Most of the book's contents were commonplace to such a collection, but one parable stood out among the rest. Certainly, there was nothing immediately noteworthy, but while reading it, I felt this indescribable sensation that this otherwise unremarkable tale was important somehow. Remembering this feeling, I later purchased a copy of the anthology in hopes that I would figure out why this particular fable was different from the rest. Naturally, years went by, and all attempts to pinpoint this parable's apparent importance proved fruitless. Then, during a chance internet search, I came across the tales of the objects, and then, somehow, I just knew. Finally, I knew what set this single tale apart from the rest. This parable is one of the objects, and seeing as how nobody else before me has apparently felt the same way about this tale as I have, I guess I'm just naturally its holder. I have no intention of reuniting the objects, so I hope the parable will do you some good, Seeker. The parable is as follows. In days long past, there was a single grain of sand amidst an immense stretch of shoreline. At first, this grain of sand was just like any other, immobile, dull, unfeeling, and wholly unremarkable. As time passed, however, by a series of mysterious chance events, the grain gained the ability to move about. Soon it was able to form basic primordial thoughts. Later it developed the ability of language, and not long after, it was able to think in a complex, abstract manner. Upon gaining these abilities, the sand grain sought to learn all it could about itself. Once it knew everything it could, it turned outward to the grains of sand surrounding it, ever hungrier for knowledge. Finally, after millennia of studying its fellows, the sand grain knew all it could. With this knowledge, the sand grain declared itself master of the entire shoreline, and commanded the respect of all it surveyed. For eons, the sand grain persisted in its so-called rule. Then, one day, an unusual wave from the nearby ocean washed to the section of shoreline where the sand grain resided. The wave washed away the sand grain, which was then wholly obliterated in the watery depths of the sea. It thought itself master of all, yet in the long run it was master of none. Its knowledge, however immense, could not rescue it from its inevitable destruction. Who's to say a similar sand grain will not soon arise, starting the cycle anew? The parable is object 1419 of 2538. I've done all I can. 
discern its true meaning, seeker, or all will be for naught.